Hey fishy folks, happy water change Wednesday. If you're watching this on Wednesday, where I am in Japan, it's Thursday, 13 hours later. I'm in the future. I wanted to make this video though and um, tell you about my meeting the king of DIY himself, Joey Mullen. Now if you don't know, I've said some pretty derogatory things about Joey. Um, I've said I think his GoFundMe was BS. I've called him a douchebag. He said I called him an a but I don't remember doing that, but that's not beyond what I would say, so it's possible. Um, I said some pretty mean things about Joey, and the reason I've said them is because that's what I believed. Now, I said believed because I'm not sure what I believe anymore. And here's why. Let me set the scene for you. We're at the Aquatic Experience, Friday afternoon, maybe 2.33 o'clock. And uh, I'm standing kind of in between the YouTube booth and the Super Cichlids booth. And just to set the scene, <coughs> Rob, I'm fine by the way, from Flip Aquatics had a booth this way and a little bit this way. And then right next door was the YouTuber booth with the red couch. You've probably seen the live streams. Um, and then across an aisle was Super Cichlids. Now I had planned to hang out with Super Cichlids and maybe stop by the YouTube booth not really knowing where it was, but um, I found myself more and more going towards the YouTube booth because there were more and more fans that legitimately wanted to shake my hand or meet me. And some of them even wanted my autograph, and I don't know why because I'm a nobody, but I signed things very reluctantly. At first, I was really wigged out about it. Like, why do you? I'm, just, I'm nobody. I'm just a dumb guy with a camera, but whatever. Anyway, so. I'm standing sort of in that intersection where the aisle went like this and the aisle went like this and I see Joey walking towards me quite rapidly, a little bit red faced, had a beer in his hand, looked like he probably had a couple more beers maybe on the plane down from uh, the great country of Canada and uh, he basically got my face and I'm pretty sure if uh, there weren't so many people around I'd, I'd be knocked out. If you've never seen Joey Mullen in person, he is short. He's shorter than me, and I'm short. Uh, but he's built like a Mack truck. His shoulders are broad. He's got big arms. I'm pretty sure one punch and I would have been crying on the ground. Anyway, he basically asked, why did I call him a douchebag and an asshole and say what I said? And um, we started to have a talk about it, and a lot of fans started coming up. But a couple things I really remember about the conversation. I remember him really trying to say, I don't know him, I don't know what he's gone through, and he wants to tell me. And that's true. I only see what I see on YouTube. Um, and I don't follow him anymore. Before the fish gallery fiasco, as I call it, uh, I watched him quite a bit, especially when I was starting my fish room, um, because I like the do-it-yourself stuff. But I haven't watched him in probably two years. Um, when he put out the convict video, which, by the way, I could care less if he's been in jail, if anybody's been in jail. If you've been in jail and you've done your time, you've done your time. Let's hope, you know, that's the end of it. At any rate, when that video came out, like 10 people emailed, commented, Facebook messaged me. Have you seen his video? Look what he's doing now. I, I didn't. I didn't even watch it. But anyway, my discussion with Joey. He, uh... He seemed legitimately like he wanted to clear the air with me. And after he got done with me, he had discussions with some other YouTubers. And I think that night I heard that he went to the YouTubers dinner, which I didn't attend, and he invited people to go, uh, you know, drinking with him, which is a nice thing to do. Not what I would do. I'm not a drinker. I don't, I'm also old. I'd, I'd like to go to sleep. But, you know, I heard they were out quite late, and I heard he did clear the air with quite a few people that he had a beef with or had a beef with him. So here's the deal, fishy folks. Joey and I were supposed to sit down and have a discussion. He told me I could film it. He said it would be my highest watch video and he's probably right. Um, but that never happened. He got busy. Maybe he forgot. Maybe he didn't mean it. I don't really know. Um, my gut feeling is he did mean it. He did want to sit down with me and probably tell me what he wanted to tell me while we were trying to talk at the aquatic experience, but fans kept coming up and interrupting us and he didn't want to be rude to them. So, um, 
but that never happened. So I didn't get a chance to sit down with Joey and talk. Um, I did send a message through a mutual friend today that I'd like to talk to him, um, but I'm not at the Aquatic Experience anymore. I don't know when he's going back. I don't know what his plans are, so. I can tell you I saw him on Saturday afternoon. He walked by me. He kind of looked at me and gave me a fist pound, which I thought was kind of interesting. I, to me, again, just to me, it seems like he was trying to clear the air. He doesn't like the animosity, I don't think. And um, I'd like to get to talk to him. So, bottom line, guys, I tell it like I see it, and I think Joey Mullen, the king of DIY, was trying to clear the air with at least me. I, I wasn't privy to his other conversations. I was staying away because I had my own drama I was dealing with. But, Joey, if you watch this, my friend, Let's get together. Let's do a live stream. Let's uh, let's do something. Let's do something together and really clear the air. See ya. He said I would make I, it would be my best produced video or my highest subbed video or watched video. What the hell am I trying to say?